Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, fellas? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Fuel Efficient channel. It is already October. Time passes really fast. We have just passed a little bit mid-October, and you guys know what that means, right? It is time for another Mystery Tackle Box unboxing! <laughs> so yes, uh, if you guys have never heard about Mystery Tackle Box yet, if you guys don't know what Mystery Tackle is all about, and by the way, here is the, the box, right? If you guys don't know what this is about, I would highly recommend you to pause this video and just check my introduction from last month's video, which I'm leaving on the info button above, okay? I gave a very de detailed explanation about what this is about, okay? So go and check it out. If you're already familiar with the concept of Mystery Tackle Box, that this product is a monthly subscription fee product, that this product is like a little treasure chest that comes every month to your house, full of tackle, that this is all about the novelty and mystery of tackle exploration, then you are ready for the unboxing for this month, okay? Now, I am in a little bit of a dilemma. <laughs> so I am so addicted to the Mystery Tackle Box products that this month, instead of having just one Mystery Tackle Box, I actually got two Mystery Tackle Boxes, all right? So I got one Mystery Tackle Box this month for Panfish, and I got the second Mystery Tackle Box for inshore saltwater fishing, okay? And this is actually my dilemma. <laughs> So both boxes came, and as you guys can see, they look the same. They look the same, doesn't matter what angle, okay, you look at, alright? Even the number on the side, the number that they gave me, was 13. I don't know what the 13 stands for, or, or if this is a B, maybe, you know, I don't know. But yeah, so both these boxes actually look the same. I don't know which one is the saltwater one, and which one is the panfish one, you know? But anyways, all right, let's start with one box, right? So for now, I'm left-handed, I'm gonna go with the left side box. All right, this is the box that we're gonna be opening today, yeah! And this is what is going to happen, pretty much. Uh, if I open this box, and it turns out to be the panfish box, then I am going to do this unboxing video for Panfish Box, right? And then you guys are gonna also have a video this month for my Mystery Tackle Box Islam for the Panfish Box and another unboxing video for the Otter Box, whatever is inside, okay? If this box turns out to be my inshore saltwater fishing box, then I'm just going to open this box today, do the unboxing, and then you guys will have a combination of uh, the Panfish box unboxing plus Slam in one video. All right, so let's get this thing started. Let's see what is inside these boxes, you know. Thankfully, you know, in my channel, I never really get the best box. So, you know, you guys can actually have an idea of what comes in the other boxes for the Mr. Tackle box, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, let's get this unboxing started. So I got here the close focus Mr. Tackle Box. As I've mentioned previously, I don't know yet which one this is, if it is the panfish or the inshore salt water. So let's get ready, ready for the unboxing. Let's open this thing up. Come on, man, the scissors. Whoa, good lord. All right, whoo, man, even to open this stuff is a challenge. All right, let's see what we got here inside our box for today. Right, okay, so far it's looking good. Let's see, we got here some sabiki, very interesting. Oh my god, all right, this is the, okay, we got here the, <laughs> we got here the inshore salt water one, okay? So let me take everything out first, okay? Let me take every one of these things out. All right, let me take the little, Fat is out. Okay, we got everything out of the box. Good to go. Okay, so since this is the inshore salt water box, okay, the Mr. Tackle box here, pretty much what is going to happen is I am going to make another video later this month with the unboxing of the second box, which is going to be the panfish box plus this lamb, both in one video. Well, I had a 50-50% chance, actually I wanted to, you know, get the panfish's lamb and unboxing together in one video, so this works just 
fine. Okay, before anything else, let's see what came inside here. Just a very quick look of the stuff that came in. I gotta go through them one by one, okay? I'm gonna let you guys know about their names and everything else, so don't worry too much about it oh all right okay so let me see here the the box always comes with a little with a little card right that tells you pretty much what is inside your box so we got five items for the month of october we got the kick a mullet egg red baits 9.95 value all right kick a mullet sounds uh, looks very niche all right there is a pink coloration to it Believe it or not, pink is a very, very good color for salt water, especially, especially during nighttime under the light. One example of actually, uh, you know, <clears throat> when pink is good, right, is when people use those zoom flux, right? People tend to use those zoom flux bubblegum bubble color, pink, right? And like I mentioned before, nighttime under the light, it works wonders. So let me open this thing here. 5 inch Edgred KA Mulich value of pretty much $10. Man, I, I think I paid just a little bit more for the box, a little bit more than $10. So, you know, all right, I can definitely see a good action in the water for this stuff. You know, I'm gonna test it one of these days. Two nice hooks and a very, very nice pink color. All right, very good design. One little, one little ball inside at the end for some extra noise very very niche stuff all right let's go to the second one here power lock plus ultra point by mustache now i gotta tell you i've used mustache uh hooks before okay for different occasions different types of fishing i have never never used these power lock plus spring keeper okay so let me take one out it, this one came here with three size 4 with a little weight on it, 116 ounce weight. Let me take this off so I can actually, you know, show you guys what this is about. Of course, at the back of the pack, it comes with a little, you know, description of how <laughs> exactly you want to hook your stuff, you know. But I, my assumption is that the spring here helps helps with your bait, you know. You put the spring in. It, it's very interesting. Certainly hook. I mean, I'm not gonna hurt myself in this video, right? But certainly, you know hook is very sharp All right, definitely one day. I want to try using these things here We got here. Let's see. Well, let's see. What's the next one on the list? We got here the jerk beige treasure treasure lures 250 a three pack. All right, so it is this one right here trash catch all all right, let's open it up, you know let me open up this pack real quick, see what this is about. All right. Okay, so you know, usually every month what uh, what Mr. Tackle Box does that I like a lot, they, they do these little combos, right? They give you certain products, you can actually match them with other products, right? So for example, I could have gotten this mustard hook, and I'm not gonna hook it right now because you know, I don't wanna damage the goods for when I, do, I go do my fishing right but I could have used this together to catch some fish you know very interesting wow oh very very flexible all right it seems to have good durability very good stuff I would definitely you know be willing to use one of these zoom flux in the market which is what I usually do they never have this type of you know flexibility all right very interesting it reminds me a lot of actually the Z-Man the Zeman baits that you usually see in the market. So good stuff, you know, this pack comes with three. And let's see, it says here, catch trout, redfish, flounder, Spanish mackerel, cobia, snook, and more. As you guys know, I'm doing a trip down to Florida next week, actually, on the 26th. So you know what, I'm taking, I'm definitely taking these three down to Florida to give it a try. The mustard, unfortunately, I can't take it with me because, you know, airport, I'm not really running my bags, you know. I'm taking them on the, on the airplane, right? They don't allow you to take big hooks, but this, I'm definitely gonna take it with me. Very interesting, yeah, 250 for three, it's pretty much about a little bit less than a dollar for each one of these. And like I said, you know, for the flexibility that they got, it, it seems to be very worth it. All right, next one, Charlie's Worms. I've actually heard of Charlie's Worms, even though I have never used them before. 
five inch grub, a four pack for two dollars, so about 50 cents for each one of them. All right, let's open it up. Let me give you a full view of the pack, right? Saltwater edition. Wow, interesting. There's a jig included. Wow, all right, man. Awesome. So they give you the grub, five inch. And I mean, folks, you guys know already, I am a multi-species angler. All right, it doesn't matter if it is salt water, fresh water. You have a grub like this, you know, and look at this tail. Wonderful, you know. You have a grub like this, you know you're gonna catch some fish, okay? There's a small jig head here, maybe 132 or 116. All right, there you go, yeah? You put it in, just jig it in the water, tail it spins, gives all the action. Very, very good, you know? I would, would definitely put one of the grubs also on a bucktail for striped bass, you know, once in a while. It is good, good stuff, you know, I would definitely use this. Comes with a pack of five. All right, and let's see the last thing that came here on the box, in the box, right? And it's actually something very, very cool. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this Sabiki rigs, all right? So this is the last thing on the list, our Marathon Sabiki rig. $1.99. Man, $1.99 is definitely a, an okay price for a Sabiki rig, okay? And I mean, let me take this out for you. Uh, it, sabiki rigs can get a little bit messy when you take them out. I will try my best to not make a mess out of it, okay? So there you go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six small hooks on the Sabiki rig, okay? I have used before Sabiki rigs for my uh, freshwater fishing, okay? So like I mentioned, I'm, I'll try my best to not make a mess out of this thing, you know? I don't want to damage the whole thing here, but the, the, the main idea of the Sabiki rig is that you have a lot of hooks connected all together, okay? Look, I don't want to, I really don't want to make a mess. Okay, let me take them off one by one then. I guess in the end, I am going to be making a mess just to show you guys. <laughs> okay, so let's take one out, two out, okay, three out. Sabiki rig can get a little bit complicated, but it is an awesome weapon for any type of small fish, freshwater or saltwater. I've used Sabiki rigs on the Skugu River before here in Philadelphia for smaller species of fish, such as yellow perch. They worked wonders. White perch, same thing. As you guys know, the white perch do migrate to the Skugu River every year during the summertime. So, all right, it's a little bit messy, you know, but there, we got our little sabiki rig here okay oh all right so we got one two three and four are together here i'll try to see it comes just like this folks and you gotta be careful with the sabiki rigs yeah so one we got here one two three and then ouch <laughs> got my finger four five and Ouch, last one, six, all right? So in this small space that I'm filming right now, a sabiki rig looks very complicated. You see, it just looks like a cluster of little hooks. If you stretch this, see as I'm stretching it, and you put it all together, and you leave it vertical, the sabiki, the sabiki rig is like an awesome weapon for smaller fish, folks. So, you know, I don't want to make a bigger mess of this thing, but definitely good for smaller types of fish. I'm pretty sure if I use this in New Jersey, I would be able to catch some sea bass, black sea bass, okay? Note the details on this sabiki rig, okay? A little bit pink, okay? A little pink color with a little piece of plastic, pardon my phone, a small golden hook, all right? Very vicious, all right? So very good for smaller species of fish. All right, so this concludes our first unboxing uh, unboxing video for the month of October. We have here the Sabiki rig by Marathon that I would definitely use in the future. You're definitely gonna see this in one of my videos. It looks like a damn mess, but you know, Sabiki rigs are always like that. Very, very effective. And uh, by the way, right, uh, one important thing about the Sabiki rig also, you gotta check your rules and regulations for your stage, okay? For Pennsylvania, as far as I know, there is no regulation as of, as of number of hooks in one line. So I, if I wanted to, I could fish with 10, 
20 hooks in one line if I wanted to, okay? You have to check your state's regulations because some states, they do regulate a certain number of hooks per line. So Sabiki rigs, you know, you got to be careful with that kind of stuff. So once again, we just got, uh, went through the Sabiki rigs. Second thing was the Charlie's Worms 5-inch grub. Very, very nice. Then we had here the super nice jerk bait, probably definitely my favorite for today. Look at this, man. It reminds me so much of the Zeman baits, you know? Definitely, definitely got to give a try. I have never heard about this Trasher catch-all, you know? So definitely got to give a try next week when I go down to Florida. We got here the Mustache Lock Plus Ultra Point hooks, okay? And finally, we have the Kika Mullich Egg Red Baits, all right? Okay, this concludes the unboxing for today, at least for the baits. Of course, Mr. Tackle Box also comes with a variety of other things inside the box. We got a little sticker here, of course. We got a little match the hatch. You know what? Let's do the match the hatch right now. Uh, let's see. What can I use for the match the hatch? Uh, I don't have anything metal here. Let's see. Let's see if I can arrange anything metal here. Okay, we're gonna use jade, all right? Chinese, <laughs> Chinese jade. This was my Chinese jade color. We're gonna use the Chinese jade color, man. All right, let's do this. Let's see if I get anything here for this box for the month of uh, of October. Oh man, although this is just my second box, I never really win the stuff. <laughs> not that I'm expecting to win on my second box, you know, but there we go, man. Yeah, I had two crawfish, man. I just needed one more crawfish. Well, let's see what was my prize, you know. If I, if I if I won, what would be what would have been my prize here? Let's see. Come on, come on, Jade. Do your job. I paid a good amount of money actually for this Jade necklace, you know. Proved to be useful once in a lifetime. Okay, let's see. Uh, my prize was actually a buck knives is midgen knife. Oh man, I wanted a knife. God damn, I always need a knife. Anyways, <laughs> there goes. So your scratch card here for the munch. And finally, just before I go, let's see what is inside the little magazine that comes every month here. Gear ratio 101 are oh, very important because a lot of people buy their spinning gears, you know, and they know nothing about gear ratios. So this is very good information right here. Okay, some advertisements on the side. Choosing the right crankbait for the conditions. Good lord, alright, this is good. This is good because, you know, crankbaits always give me hard time. I remember watching a video once upon a time of uh, K-Pink, Kevin Pink, you know, uh, Bassmaster Elite Series guy talking about crankbaits and he used to say if you are not feeling the rocks or the logs down there That means you are not cranking hard enough. Well, I tell you what K-Pink every time I use a crankbait here in Philadelphia I think I'm feeling the rocks a little bit too much because I always get snagged <laughs> I've lost so many crankbaits in the past. That's why I don't use them anymore. Oh We got here really interesting. We got here an ad for the eye bobber that is very cool. I actually received an email from the one of the producers of the iBobber to do a video, you know, about their products a couple months ago, but I ended up not doing it. Good stuff. Deep structure fishing, certainly very important, although here for Philadelphia, you know, I don't really have a lot of deep structure. You know, good stuff, you know, so there you go. You, you get your Mr. Tackle Box, you also get a little, you know, pamphlet full of information choosing the right right rod so you see just by reading the stuff right you could actually have already some knowledge in terms of your reel your rod what uh, what to do when you fish deep structures right etc so really cool stuff all right all right fellas so i finished my unboxing here for the inshore salt water for the month of october uh next mr tackle box video is gonna go be up in a couple days i'm gonna do my unboxing for panfish together with the mtb slam okay so last month i did my mtb slam for panfish at Haddon lake in new jersey that was a lake in new jersey for this month i am doing it on a mouth of a river with a creek so it's gonna be very very different we gotta try to catch as many different species of fish as possible uh, well i will keep you guys updated all right fellas thanks for joining me on this unboxing tie lines and until next video thumbs up